Hey my friends, short video today. Um, I would just like to um, talk to you about the future update, which will contain the Bounty Hunter, uh, which is basically NFT staking in Heroes and Empires. So uh, I've opened the um, document as telling us all about the Bounty Hunter uh, system, and I'm naturally going to link it in the uh, description. Uh, I formally sometimes miss out on linking these, so I'm always appreciating when you guys um, point this out and tell me about that so I can um, add all these links later on in the description. So uh, let's get right into the Bounty Hunter system. Basically it's um, some sort of quest system uh, in Heroes and Empires uh, where you can get extra gold, HE, shards, etc. So um, it's supposed to reward many kinds of different uh, ingredients uh, or even enhancement tools that you'll be getting. Uh, and these um, bounty boards uh, may that contain the quests are basically uh, having different um, difficulties, I guess. Like you need uh, different amount amount of heroes sometimes you need more heroes so it's not always one hero that you can send out sometimes you need uh, more heroes and of course uh, it already uh, it also depends on the rarity of the hero that you're choosing uh, so sometimes there'll be uh, a quest where you need like an epic hero that's also an elf maybe or you need an epic hero and you need an elf, so maybe you can use your epic syllabaire that's a beast, and maybe use your lin that's uh, an elf, so with these two you can uh, basically finish the quest, and then you send out uh, your heroes to that quest, and you will receive rewards after like 12 hours, 24 hours, etc. Um, of course, there'll be um, missions that are going to be a bit more difficult. So let's say you have a mission where you need many different kinds of heroes uh, that not many players have. Then uh, there'll be a bonus for completing these. So maybe you get 50% more gold or you get more shards. Maybe you get epic shards even. Uh, so there can be great rewards with completing these. And of course, uh, there are um, different... Uh, variations uh, of bounties so for example you can have a solo bounty and a team bounty meaning um, in your solo bounty quest you can only use the heroes that you own uh, basically the the ones that exist in your accounts um, but in the team bounty you have two more slots uh, where you can use uh, heroes um, to fill out from say your friends or your clan members so you you have like two slots one you put your own character and one you put your friends character so say you have the elf team and your friend has the beast team you both have already reinvested a bit or you upgraded your teams to epic so you can take on harder missions and now you need uh, to clear a mission where you need uh, an epic elf and an epic beast so then you can put your epic elf in and your friend's epic beast and you can finish the quest so that's how team bounty is going to work uh, naturally, uh, you won't be getting 100 million uh, quests there or 100 million missions. It's going to de depend on the VIP point system. Uh, in case you don't know much about the VIP point system, make sure to uh, check out my previous video. Uh, we have been talking, uh, I think, 30 minutes about uh, the VIP system and I've pretty much been very thorough with all the um, advantages and how you can sneak up some points in there, get it easily and advance as you progress in the game. So if you're not familiar with that, please watch that video first uh, to get some insight uh, on the VIP system. So if you have a higher VIP level, you'll be getting a lot more solo and uh, team bounty missions, which you can complete. Uh, next is the bounty hunter level. So the rarity of quests is determined by the bounty hunter level, as it says here. Um, but what does that exactly mean? So basically, um, it says that the higher the level, the more high rarity quests they will be and the lower rarity quests uh, will be dropped. Which means uh, you ha have some sort of uh, level that's displayed there and once you uh, level up a bit and get a higher level 
uh, then you'll receive more of the high rarity quests and less of the uh, low rarity quests. So you'll get better quests as you progress pretty much. So in the beginning there are shittier quests and later on there are uh, better quests. Uh, yeah, I just uh, saw that it's pretty much explained here. So there are eight levels in total and you need to complete a certain amount of uh, bounty and team bounty uh, missions uh, of a specific rarity and then you'll level up and once you level up you get better quests. So the beginning will be a bit worse and then you'll get better and better rarity quests. So in the beginning you get like maybe just the common ones then you get some rare, epic, legendary, etc, etc. And that's pretty much it. So uh, a rare um, solo bounty uh, HE mission will give you 4 HE. But if it's uh, a rare... Um, uh, if it's an epic one, you'll get 8. If it's a legendary, 16. And if it's immortal, it says for, at uh, 14, but I'm pretty sure it uh, should mean uh, 24. Uh, so uh, I'm 99% uh, sure that it sa should say uh, 24 instead. Um, so yeah, uh, if you do the team bounty bonus, uh, you get your friends, heroes as well, then it's going to be doubled. So. Uh, in the beginning, it's just going to be a small amount, uh, which you can passively gain by doing these missions. And once you uh, upgrade, once you get more missions by having a higher VIP level, you will get more and more and more. Uh, of course, there's gold as well. I think the two stands for probably the other um, hours worth of gold. So if you finish this, this, this mission, you'll be getting two hours worth of gold. Here it's four, and you can get like up to 64 hours of gold. That's what I'm assuming. But of course, you always have to keep in mind that the higher the rarity, the longer it's going to take. So uh, a common quest is done in 12 hours, as uh, the rare quests are done in like 24 hours. So it's going to take a while to complete these. So yeah, in the future I'm hoping to accumulate lots of quests that I can do simultaneously, preferably. So if you do like... Uh, four or five of these quests simultaneously, you'll be getting like 10... 20, even 30, or even 40 uh, HE, depending on the team or solely bounty bonus. So that would be pretty great. Really looking forward to, to see this, as it would give some evaluation to the VIP system, and I think it drives some incentives to spend some HE in the game uh, that you'll be getting from here. Uh, anyway, that's it for the video. Uh, I try to make it a bit short, uh, a little bit shorter than usual because sometimes I feel like running my mouth a bit. Uh, this document is quite um, short uh, and there haven't been too detailed on the specifics, so I'm hoping you could understand it a bit more from my explanation. I'm going to link the document uh, in the video description below. As always, let's discuss in the comments what you think of the update. Uh, that's going to bring this. It's probably implemented in the next uh, update or the one after that. And yeah, really looking forward to see this. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know as always and goodbye.